All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to continue with my previews of the American Athletic Conference for the 2015 college football season. For this vlog, I'm here to talk about the Temple Owls. Now, the Owls went six and six last season, and they had a great effort on the defensive end, but they really need to step it up on the offensive side, particularly in the ground attack. They average just over 100 yards per game running the football, but they need to run the football effectively, effectively in order to help open things up with the pass attack. Now at quarterback PJ Walker is returned as the starter. Last year he had 2,317 yards passing to go along with 13 touchdowns and 15 interceptions. He needs to turn turn on um, turn down that turnover ratio on this upcoming season in order to give this team a chance to um make it to a bowl bid. They did win six and six last season but they did not play in a bowl um, game at the end of the season. Now this year um Walker's gonna have to play without his top target and Jalen Fitzpatrick he is now um, um, off uh, due to his eligibility his eligibility is over now as speaking of the defensive end that I mentioned earlier they were actually fourth in scoring defense with 17 and a half points allowed per game and they were led by the first team um, all uh, uh, all American Athletic Conference player and linebacker Taylor Mac Meta Vicket, uh, Meta Kevix. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. He's six foot one, two hundred and thirty-two pounds, and he's from Stratford, Connecticut, and he is a prospect that I'm looking at, a sleeper prospect at the linebacker position. Last season, he was first team on um, all conference with 117 tackles, and they also have a couple second team players in their defensive line with Matt Inelades as well as um um Praise. Martin Aki. Now, both these two players had a great time together, and the D line, they both combined for 11 sacks last season. And not to mention their honorable mention player, and Tavon Young, who led the team with four interceptions, and he had nine pass breakups last season. Now, as far as their recruiting process, they did recruit three star players, and their top three players are all from the state of New Jersey. Starting with Kareem Ali Jr., he's the um, number 27 court cornerback according to ESPN six um he's actually um 5'11 170 pounds and they picked up a big time defensive tackle who could be the future and help replace um both uh, Okibe as well as Ineadis um because they're both seniors actually all their impact players are seniors that I mentioned earlier and I think that Greg Webb he's actually the number six defensive tackle coming out of junior college he's six foot one 315 pounds he could definitely wreck havoc in that line of scrimmage and lastly they picked up a running back in Chappelle Coke. He's 6'2", 205 pounds. Definitely a good size at running back. He definitely could get some playing time as a true freshman. Now, this year, this is going to be a tough year. Looking at their schedule, I do see them going 6-6, six and six, but I'm actually going to stretch things out this year, and I believe that they will find a way to get 7 wins this season. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be later on today. I have 3 more blogs for you. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem Call. Be easy.